being forced to close. Uh, the hospitality sector's had a really, really, I mean, we can't overstate it, an awful time. No, and I think one thing that's that's really uh, come out throughout the pandemic that's been extremely clear is that there is no economic recovery without a hospitality recovery. Um, it's it it is only when we are open and trading without restrictions that you will really see GDP growth back in the UK. So we need to do all we can to get hospitality back on its feet. And actually just listening to the newspaper reviews, then talking about moving, living with COVID, that is what people want to hear. I think the real story of the pandemic is going to be the effect that it's had on mental health. And I'm extremely proud to have been part of an industry that's had such a huge part of allowing people in a safe environment to feel normal. You know, we need that social interaction. We are pack animals by nature. We need to be with people. And the hospitality industry has been so agile and nimble, reacted to everything, done all we possibly can over the course of the last couple of years to react to the needs of people, but to still remain open when we can and to allow people to have that sense of normality and, and social interaction. How are you able to hold on to staff uh, if there's no predictable income coming in and they don't know when they're going to be called in to work or not? Difficult for them, very difficult for you as well to be able to say we can man the bars. There's no doubt that staff shortages has been one of the biggest uh, challenges for the hospitality industry over the last couple of years, partly Brexit, partly because of COVID. Um, one of the things that we have that we're very lucky with at Nightcap is that we've grown so quickly over the course of this year and continue to grow next year. So we offer that career progression. But for people who've got the smaller businesses, there's never been a more important time to think about staff welfare. And in fact, when we sit down and talk to our staff, people think it's always about, it's so often about money. Actually, often it's about other aspects. It's about career development. It's about training. It's about progression. It's about the way that they feel valued and cared for within an organization. And I think, you know, historically hospitality has not been brilliant at looking after its staff. And we account with tourism for 11% of jobs in the UK. Mm. So many people start their life. I mean, I've worked in hospitality since I was 11 years old. So there's never been a more important time to sit and talk to your staff, find out what it is that they need, what it is that they want. We've spent the last year building award-winning training programs. And even if you're a really small business, putting time and investing in your staff in those more intangible, softer areas, um, you'll see that retention. Yeah.